In this video, I'll show you how to get a donate button in Please Donate on Roblox Mobile and on your phone. If you find this guide useful, then please go down below and consider subscribing and also consider leaving a like as well. So here is my booth at the moment. As you can see, I've got two donation buttons and I'm going to show you how you can go and add another one or how to add your first, your second, it doesn't matter, it's all the same. So the first thing you need to do is close off of Please Donate and then you need to actually go to the Roblox website. So I'm going to go and leave the game now and then what you need to do is close off the Roblox app and this guide is going to work on all types of devices including Android, iOS, it's all the same. Then go and open up a web browser, it can be any, uh, whether it be Google Chrome or Safari, it doesn't matter. And then all we need to do is go to roblox.com. So when you first go to roblox.com, it's going to ask you to go and continue in the app. But if you just look below this button here, you can go and tap on continue in browser like this. Then what you can do is go and log into your Roblox account. Then once you've logged in, you may be asked to go and continue in your browser again. And then you may need to go and request a desktop website. So to do that on Safari, all you need to do is press those two aids on the left hand side, and then go and tap on request desktop website. And just a quick example in Chrome, tap on the three dots in the bottom right like so and then you can scroll down and then you've got the option for request desktop site. The next thing you need to do is go to the top of Roblox and then go and tap on create in this row of options at the top, go and tap on it like so. Now if you get taken to a page which looks something like this which says Roblox Studio, don't worry. All you need to do is go and tap on your URL bar whether that be at the top or the bottom of your phone and then we need to go and type in this exactly. This is what you need to type in https colon slash slash create dot roblox dot com slash creations. You may be by default taken to this page, but if you don't, like I wasn't, then this is what you need to go and type in and then go and tap on go in the bottom right or just search. Not everyone will need to do this, but some people will and that is how you can go and do it. Then you'll be taken to your Roblox creations and what you need to do is make sure experience is selected. And by default, everybody is going to have this um, experience here called their Roblox username, then their place. So because my username is Epic Gaming Feral, that's why it's called that. So go and tap on yours just like so. Then once you're on the overview, what you need to do is go and tap on the three bars in the top left like so. And then what you can do is go and tap on associated items like so. And then once you're in associated items, what you need to do is go and select passes just like so. And then what we can do is go and create a pass and what we can do with a pass is we then go and sell it and then that's going to go and appear as a donation button because essentially you're selling stuff to get the donation button so it's all going to make sense just follow through so what you need to do is have and create a pass like so and the first thing we need to do is go and upload an image so this can be anything as long as it's within roblox rules in my case i just went and uploaded a random photo i have on my phone but it is important to note that people are going to be able to see the picture the name and the description when they purchase it so you probably want to make it something quite cool possibly because that may help you get more donations and then for the name I like to put something like thank you or like an epicness pass or something just cool like that because once again people are actually buying this and they can see what they bought and what it's called so yeah I'm just going to name this video tutorial just so you, I can prove to you guys I have added it and then once you've done that you can then go and tap on create pass at the bottom and you're now going and creating the game pass however we aren't quite finished as you can see it says off sale and we need to put it on sale because then it's going to be appearing in our stand or booth in please donate for sale and we can get donations so what you need to do is go and tap on it again like this once you can see the basic settings and what you need to do is go to the top left and tap on those three bars and then you go and tap on the sales like this and what we need to do is go and put the item for sale so go and toggle this switch on and then where it says price in robux this is going to be how much you're going to get the donation for so if you wanted to go and have like a 10 robux donation then type in 10 but just remember that robux go and take 30 percent and the creator keeps 70 percent so in this case if i someone bought my 10 robux donation i'd actually receive seven robux so then you can go and tap on save changes like so and it says pass up updated successfully. So now we're finished. Let's head back to Roblox Please Donate and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we are in Please Donate. So I'm going to go and claim this uh, booth here. So let me claim it now. And as you can see, there are three buttons. Initially I had two. And if I go and just tap my finger on the 10 Robux donation. As you can see, it says video tutorial game passed and that's it. And you can go and see the icon uploaded there. And yeah, guys, that's how you can go and add donation buttons in Roblox.